7 in the morning and I'm having contractions. I had a, I don't know if it's preterm or false labor, but I had that not yesterday, but the day before. I had to go into hospital because it was so bad. I was like vomiting, just in a lot of pain. And um, sure enough, they hooked me up to the monitors and I was absolutely contracting. Wish I got some footage of that, but it just happened so fast and honestly it took me by surprise. I thought I was gonna go into the hospital and they were gonna tell me to go home. Um, we stayed there for like eight hours. Um, they ended up giving me morphine and that kind of helped the contractions um, lessen and go away, which was good because baby girl is only 35 weeks, which means that, oh goodness, means that she's a preemie. So we're gonna try and avoid her coming at all times possible. Oh, contraction. So that keeps happening. Bauer is hanging out with me. trying to get these contractions to chill out, maybe get some rest, that would be great. I'm so tired. You need to hang out for longer. Mama says it's not time to come yet. It's not it's too early. <laughs> Hello lovely humans, welcome here, welcome back. It has been a hot second since we last hung out. I'm still very pregnant, very, very pregnant. I'm 36 weeks and five days today, and I have a lot to catch you up on. <laughs> Bauer wants to hang out too, as soon as I start talking. Yes, hello. Always wants to be involved, always wants to see who's hanging out. And I missed you, I really did, honestly. Now today we have an appointment. I am also picking up a bouncer for baby girl. Uh, we found it on Marketplace. I was gonna order it on Amazon, but my mom sent me a link to the Marketplace link and she was like, just buy it here. And I am. <laughs> First, before I update you on everything, I need to eat a little bit. I slept until noon today. I've been so tired because I've been sleeping really poorly. Shocker. But I've been making this smoothie and it's pretty great especially for labor and birth prep and all that. So I'm gonna make that right quick and then probably just gonna head to the appointment and then I will update you on everything that's been going on because yeah, things have gotten a little wild the past couple of days, weeks. I don't know, I'm just, I feel like she's gonna be here soon. I feel like she's gonna be here soon I'm very excited and I'll fill you in on why I'm thinking all that. But first, smoothie time. is made and in my purse. Dame's out of a meeting and ready to go. Excited. Let's go. <laughs> and Bauer's waiting for his treat that I made. <laughs> we always leave Bauer. Where's your part? You need to be putting your shoes on. <laughs> Doing my best. I'm giving him a treat because I have Uggs that I can slide on my feet. Oh boy. Kind of sounds like you did. Did you start the car already? Yes, I did. Thanks, Let's go. Made it to the office. We had to park. It took it was a while. So bad. <laughs> It's just a busy day. My doctor is away, so I think that like everybody's just trying to see this one doctor, so it's really chaotic. But they're doing the best. Busy. Everybody's really nice, and that's what matters. <laughs> and baby girl's doing good. We're gonna do a little checkup and see how it goes. <laughs> Dame wants her to get here now. Right now. <laughs> it is currently just a little after seven and I'm finally sitting down for the day. I am exhausted. I'm actually rocking on my ball right now. I kind of live on this thing at this point. Yeah, the appointment went way longer than I was expecting, but we're kind of like in that spot in the pregnancy where we're talking about delivery, we're talking about birth plans, we're talking about a lot of different things. I was seen by physio, I was seen by, I don't really know what she is. She's like a 
think she might be a nurse practitioner, but she kind of specializes in birth plans. So saw her, um, saw the resident on the floor, and I saw the doctor on the floor. So that all took literally two hours. But we got a lot of good information. The most important being that baby girl will be here in like three weeks because we are going to go an induction route if she's not here by 39 weeks. So the reason being that I am on anticoagulants, so blood thinners, I am taking fragments and injection. It's not that fun, but it is what it is and it helps me prevent a blood clot, which would be really bad. <laughs> so because of the um, blood thinners, I can't really get an epidural and C-section becomes a little bit more risky because of the increased bleeding um, occurrence that can happen with blood thinners, obviously. So why they want to do is just so they can kind of like prepare my body. I'll skip my blood thinner and then do an induction the next day so that like my body's all good, but I'm not risking getting a clot. So it's kind of like a balancing act because they want to make sure that I'm not taking the blood thinner so that I'm good to have the epidural, but I'm taking the blood thinner within the certain time so I'm not getting a blood clot. So balancing act, it's uh, it's interesting. I'm kind of just following their lead. It's my first baby and I don't really want to mess with blood clots at all. Not something that I'm very educated about, I'm not going to lie. So I'm just kind of following their lead, taking their suggestions. And I was kind of on the fence about whether I wanted an epidural or not, but but to have it fully like taken away from me, I don't think that I want that. And especially like if I do have to get like emergency C-section, um, I would have to get like fully put under like so you're not even awake. And I really, 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 really don't want my daughter to come into that world and like me not even be conscious. So yeah, we're gonna avoid that. So looking at a 39 week induction, which is wild because again, I'm 36 and five days today. So that's like soon, that's coming up. <laughs> um, we don't really know the date yet, but so basically the week between March 7th and like the 13th slash 14th. So that's so soon. <laughs> we will see how it goes. But on my docket for the rest of tonight, I've taken Bauer for his walk. Baby girl is dropping into my pelvis a lot, so I'm trying to really like encourage the dropping. Bless you, Dame. Um, and so like walks are essential. My blood pressure has been great, and I honestly attribute that to the walking and also the healthy eating. I have to say like the unhealthy stuff has been ice cream. I've been having such a bad ice cream craving, and it's so weird to me because like I didn't really like ice cream. I didn't care about it before this pregnancy, but now I could eat it all the time. Day, night, dinner, breakfast, ice cream. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But tonight, I um, really just need to make sure that I have a little bit of dinner, but I'm also going to be collecting some colostrum. I've been doing that for the past couple days. Dame's making me my tea. Thank you, Dame. It's been my labor buddy, helping me make sure that I'm taking prenatals, blood thinners, iron, raspberry leaf tea, and dates. There's a lot of things. Oh my gosh. Um, my iron did take a dip, so I am taking um, iron supplements every single day now. It just happens when you have like an autoimmune disease, especially also colitis, and it's just something that you really want to stay on top of because postpartum you want your iron to be high so that you have more energy, and I'd like some energy, please. <laughs> but yeah, doing colostrum collection. I'll actually show you. I have a little stash going right now. It's going so good. I'll show you the stash. The milk bag. It's so exciting. Look at all these bad boys. I'm pretty pumped. It's like, come here, in here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Got nine milliliters. That golden milk for baby girl. <laughs> and we learned that you're supposed to take that to the hospital today. Yes. And that makes sense. I mean, yeah. that's where they're probably going to use it. Well, I thought that I would just feed her colostrum like the me. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first time, okay? <laughs> But yeah, I'm collecting as much as I can. I'm getting around like two to four milliliters every night. It is a process, but I think that I kind of have it down pat now, just the way that I have it all set up. So kind of walk you through that, just in case you're looking to collect some classroom as well. So what I do is I go down here, grab my little magic bag. It's got like a black velvety fluff around it and it's lavender scented. So that's very fun. Some aromatherapy for me because I find that you want a calm environment. So I always um, collect colostrum and like a cozy atmosphere. So like the room's all cozy for me. 
nice and dark but like moody lighting so i'm going to heat this up in the microwave and i'm going to kind of like place it under my bra so that's like literally like on my nipples <laughs> and then it's kind of warming everything up you're getting all the lymph nodes like warmed up and everything and then you're also like massaging it as well so you're getting things kind of worked up and ready to flow nice and easily and then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of put your hand in like a c shape and you're just going to squeeze <laughs> literally just squeeze and then to make sure that you're collecting it all you can do this a couple different ways i found the easiest way i use like a mama baby co and they're my silverettes like the 99 like sterling silver kind of things and you literally just like scoop it up <laughs> <laughs> which is so weird i thought it would be weirder than it is i'm not gonna lie first time it was pretty weird <laughs> but you can do it with a spoon you can do it with i don't even know anything that collects things i find the silverettes work really well <laughs> i don't even know collects, collects things like a like an in the like a scoop i guess <laughs> but like i find the silverettes are just so like delicate and dainty that like it's really soft on your nipples and i highly recommend it and then once it's all kind of gathered in here you're going to want to make sure that you have like a surface that it can just kind of like chill there because sometimes we get a bunch of drops and then it'll stop and then you have to work on the other one and then it'll stop and then you gotta work on the other one and then sometimes you want to break <laughs> so make sure that you're kind of like set up so that you can just kind of like put your silverette down and then you're gonna get your syringe and then you syringe it all up into one and I did learn biggest trick ever because I lost a syringe because I didn't know this well I, I did know this I just wasn't thinking my brain is mush these days okay <laughs> but again liquid expands when it freezes <laughs> so make sure that you leave a little bit of air gap in your syringe or else it's gonna bust out and break your syringe and you'll lose a syringe of milk and again, that stuff is liquid gold, so don't want to do that. All right, so I'm going to hop into that. Hopefully I get a, cap oh, a couple milliliters. I'm so tired. One thing, collecting colostrum, I didn't expect this. It makes you sleepy. It makes you sleepy. It also makes me lightheaded, which is interesting too. So I always have like water, tea on deck, and a snack too, because I get hungry. All right, I'll probably check it with you tomorrow because I'm way too tired and probably will be asleep after this. All right, goodbye. It is later the next day. I was so busy today. I was busy honestly the day before that and I'm always just kind of busy. I'm really excited to be able to slow down and just rest and prepare for baby girl to come. It'll be really nice, but these days we're busy. I actually um, went with Dame after my appointment on Tuesday and we got her her little bouncer slash rocker. It actually vibrates and everything too, which is cool. It's so cool. It just like rocks a little bit when it's rocking. I think I'll probably take this off. Just, you know, safety and all that. I did want to show you my colostrum collection went super, super good last night. I really, 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 really recommend doing my little method of making sure you're eating and drinking throughout the day. And then the whole process of like prepping for the colostrum actual collection itself. Because I got seven full syringes. Now look how many. That is ridiculous. I'm so, so stoked. Can't do that every day. Not possible. It does take a lot out of your body, but I don't know. It's like a feeling of accomplishment. I'm very excited to be able to really provide for my baby girl when she gets here, which will hopefully be soon. We have a full moon and a little bit of a storm coming up and everybody thinks that she's going to be here during that. So I'm just trying to get everything ready. We're running out to Costco tomorrow to do like a big prep just in case she decides to make her little appearance then. Hi, Bub Bub. Little man has been glued to my side, but what else is new? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog here just because I'm really tired. There's a lot to update y'all on, but I think that that can wait just because I really just kind of want this to be a getting back, catching up on like what's important. And then, yeah, we'll talk about that time when I went into false labor, like literally like put my body into false labor. It was kind of good, but also very scary at the same time. Definitely opened my eyes up for what labor is actually going to be like because I my contractions were like, four or five minutes apart like on the monitor and everything they were nurses were freaking out a little bit but it's all good she's still in there <laughs> but yeah i'll have a lot to update y'all on and the nursery the nursery's looking so good i will update you guys that in like the next 
ooh, like two videos, things are just piling up. The nesting is real right now. So I'm gonna go do that right now, actually. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next vlog. If you want, you can follow me over on Instagram at Live Sprigs. I post a lot over there, especially on my stories, just kind of like day to day stuff. And I'm over on TikTok. I don't post as much over there, but you can still follow me over there if you want. And yeah, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Like this video if you liked it. And I will see you next time. Bye, lovely humans. <laughs>